For the past month or so, grade 8 students across the Prairie South School Division researched and prepared for this week. Almost 200 kids spent Thursday or Friday at the Kinsman Sportsplex from the city of Moose Jaw and all throughout southern Saskatchewan. Career development consultant Brett Young detailed how their day looked and what limited materials they could use to make a boat. They have to create a boat that will make it across the pool out of cardboard. And only using duct tape, string, the X-Acto knives, and a paper clip. They come with their designs, they come with their prototypes, they come with all their ideas, and then for two hours, they're given the materials set forth and create a boat that's going to get them across. This was a part of a buoyancy unit the students have been learning in science the last little while. They come here, they you know, develop their stuff. It's so exciting for us to see the process that they're coming in with and then how engaged they are in like what they're creating. So for like two hours, we don't hear a peep from them. It's, they're quiet and they're doing their thing. And then when we finally get to the pool and they can get in there and then they can test and see if it actually worked. Young also noted that this day is not only an exciting hands-on learning opportunity for the kids, it also gives them a chance to meet others from around the province and compete against each other in a friendly environment. You have schools from all over the place, like Mancota, like Gravelberg, La Flesh, all these, you know, the rural schools and the city schools, that they get to come together. Some of these students have never seen each other before, so they spend the entire day doing the same learning, but they're meeting students from different schools. Zane Kashif of Sunningdale School was one of the many students participating on day two. He learned the many factors he and his team had to take into consideration during the planning and development phases. In the classroom, we learned about uh, buoyancy and how to like keep our uh, boat like afloat in the water. And then we learned about some other things as, uh, such as placing yourself in the boat so then it's balanced and you, the boat stays afloat. One thing I learned was to make a triangle in the front of your boat, so the uh, bow of your boat, so it should be uh, shaped like a triangle so it can cut through the water so then you can move quicker and more efficiently. Students only had two hours to construct their boats from the prototypes that they built within their classrooms prior to arriving to the city's facility. Their team name was the Beach Boys, and they had a smart strategy in mind going into race day. Team member Nigel Fang, also from Sunningdale School, said they were taking their lessons from the classroom and directly implementing them into the construction phase. We're cutting corners so that the measurements are exactly even, because boats have to be exactly even so that they're able to float because of buoyant forces. It has to travel through the water quickly, and you want all sides to be even, so that you have to disperse your mass equally. Most memorable things that I've done so far is probably learning how to build a boat, how to do it successfully in the classroom, and working as a team. There is about 20 races each day across the shallow end of the pool at the Kinsman Sportsplex where students were able to test out their products and cheer each other on to the finish line. For the Discover Moose Jaw Newsroom, I'm Haley Hart.